today's hearing was of two consolidated applications, one from the South African National Director of Public Prosecution and the other from Mr. Henry Ocker. In the heads of argument, the National Director for Public Prosecutions is seeking leave to appeal against an order of the Supreme Court of Appeal that set aside four convictions of Mr. Henry Ocker under the Protection of Constitutional Democracy Against Terrorism and Related Activities Act 33 of 2004, known as the Terrorism Act. On his part, Mr. Henry Oka is challenging the High Court's refusal to make certain special entries under Section 317 of the Criminal Procedure Act 51 of 1977. These concern the fairness of his trial. Mr. Oka also is challenging the High Court's rejection of his argument that his actions fall within an exception to the Terrorism Act. These preclude prosecution of armed struggle exercised in furtherance of a legitimate rights to national liberation, self-determination and independence and conducted within the precepts of international humanitarian law. The rejected three special entries include that a Mr. Osagi, who presented himself as a Nigerian lawyer, a member of the Nigerian Prosecuting Authority, did not tell the court that he was a member of the Nigerian State Secret Service. According to Mr. Oka, the Mr. Osage was present at his trial to intimidate witnesses. He also argues that he had not been warned of his rights to consular access under Article 7, Subsection 3, A to C of the International Convention for the Suppression of Terrorist Bombings. Also, he says that the High Court should have requested to obtain the evidence for the defense from witnesses in Nigeria. Leading the 10 justices in court, the acting Chief Justice Raymond Zondo reserved judgment. From the South African Constitutional Court, Johannesburg, Betty Dibia, Channels Television News.